Hey, it's another Friday and I have a great message for you today. In Proverbs 18 and 16, it says that your gift will make room for you and it will put you in presence of great men and women. What have you been thinking about? Your success is actually in your gift. I'm going to give you a couple of points for you to think about and for you to really focus on. Number one is that your gift is the key to success. I know some people tell you it's your education. I don't knock education. I have education. Education, though, is only limited. You could be smart, but it won't bring you into a great place. There are many PhDs that don't have financial success. There are many PhDs that don't I know God in a great way, but if you focus on your gift, which God has given you, then you will start to see success. And as a result of that gift, which is number two, you will be put in the presence of great men and women. It's amazing how the gift that God has given you, the one that you have no one else has the gift that you have, has the uniqueness that you have. If you would just hone in on that, that is what you should be working towards. Don't look at anybody else's gift. Focus on yours. When you do that, it brings you into a place where you will be amongst those who are great in your life. And the last thing I want you to remember is that you are to use your gift. Take that gift that you have. And I want you to focus on your purpose. When you focus on that purpose that you've been given, you'll be just like Moses. Moses was at the Red Sea. In the Red Sea, he had complaining that was going on behind him. And God said, what do you have in your hand? And he looked at that staff that he had in his hand, and he reached out and stretched it forward. He had something already. Even though he had complaining behind him, even though he had the Red Sea in front of him, he had it in his hand. And the same thing with you. You already have what you need to be successful. You already have what you need to get out of that situation or that circumstance. But you have to focus on that. Stop trying to go to other people, the experts. You've been looking on YouTube. You've been reading this and reading that. Look within. And I promise you, when you do that, then you'll be able to produce on the purpose that you have. And you'll be brought into a place with great people, great men, and you'll be surrounded by great women, men and women that can help you and that can strengthen you and you'll be able to do great things. I'm looking forward to you doing more that you will produce on purpose, that you will remember that you have a gift and your gift will bring you the key to success. Looking forward to hearing more from you as you continue this year to produce on the purpose that God has put in your life. See you next time.